air is present everywhere air is transparent and colorless therefore it can never be seen when we see things around us we always see them through air though air cannot be seen yet its presence can be felt in many ways presence of air may be felt as the wind when we ride on a bicycle or a motorcycle we feel our shirt or muffler being pulled backwards table cloth curtains etc start fluttering when the fan is switched on the moving air makes the leaves of the trees rustle clothes hanging on the clothes line sway winnowing is more effective in moving air how strong is the wind we can get a good idea of the speed of the wind by looking at the movement of smoke and bending of trees high speed wind may even uproot trees and blow off the rooftops high winds can even destroy suspension bridges you must have seen small kids playing with a paper firki firki rotates when the moving air strikes the front of the firki to make the firki rotate faster children often run holding the stick of the firki faster they run faster the firki rotates have you seen a weather cock it shows the direction in which the air is moving at that given place we know that air is matter and is present everywhere an empty glass is not empty even if it is turned upside down it is always full of air If a glass is half filled with water its upper half is filled with air When you are pouring any liquid in a vessel you are also removing air from inside the vessel Let us do an activity to understand it more clearly Fill a fish tank or a large sized trough about 2/3 full of water Take an empty plastic bottle and dip the open mouth of the bottle into the trough. What do you observe? Water does not enter the bottle as the bottle is already filled with air and there is no way for the air to escape from the bottle. Now, tilt the bottle slightly and observe air in the form of bubbles. starts coming out of the bottle water now enters the bottle to fill up the empty space created by the escaping air this activity shows that air occupies space